Welcome to the Post Purchase Pro Podcast. This is the only podcast that dives deep into post-purchase marketing to help Amazon sellers increase sales, ranking, reviews, and profits. It's everything that happens after the initial sale that makes a difference. We call this the back end. (laughs) Sean, welcome back to another episode of the Post Purchase Podcast. I'm one of the co-hosts today, Seth Stevens, along with my trusty uh, partner in crime here, Sean Hart. That's me. Sean, I love doing uh, interviews with software developers and people in the software game, not necessarily developers, but people that get to see the inside, all the data that's actually flowing in and out of these businesses um, in the Amazon space because they have different insights than just um, a regular seller or people that aren't, um, they don't have access to this level of data, right? So we have a very special guest today and I'm super excited about it. I know, Seth. Now, I met this gentleman, and you're going to fall in love with him just as much as I did. I met him at Brandon's Camp Ecom in Orlando probably a month or six weeks ago. And uh, it, 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 it occurred to me that he was one of the most brilliant guys at the event. Very low key. You know, I had to dig some information out of him and kind of squeeze him a little bit to get him to talk to me. But after he started opening up, I was like, holy smokes, we have to get this guy on the podcast. Amazon sellers around the world need to know what he's doing, what he knows, tips and tricks, strategies for 2023, and more importantly, Seth, the software that him and his team have created. So without further ado, why don't you introduce our guest? Yes, super excited to have Moshe Landau, the CEO and founder of Simple Tricks. Moshe, welcome to the show. Hi, welcome. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah, nice to meet you as well, Moshe. So uh, you and I got to huddle a little bit in in Orlando, like I was saying um, before we brought you in. And I was really blown away by a few of the demo uh, items that you showed me in your software, which is Simple Tricks. It took you about 30 minutes to get me to understand that it wasn't Simple Metrics. It was Simple Tricks. So (laughs) now I get it. I understand. Tell me a little bit of your background, Moshe. Like, how did you get into this? Uh, what was it that happened in your life and your business made you create your company and why exactly did you create your company? Great. So very simple. I started in 2014 and it was really great time to join uh, Amazon, learn Amazon. That was a time that you didn't have to spend much on PPC and you just start bring, make your own product, post it and just launch it and that's it in people buying and i followed with all the challenges later with starting with um ppc comparing um competing with other sellers that was also great we had a time that we had five best sellers and i found myself constantly focusing on these listings to make sure always I'm staying at the position where I want to be. So I had like struggles with my business. I wanted to grow, but on the other hand, how can I grow? Because I have to focus on my best sellers. Now, if I take off my eyes one or two days, (laughs) all of a sudden someone else popping in for a little cheaper or changing images. If I'm not on it, focusing on the listing, then it takes no time. You're losing everything. Um, so as every seller knows, so I call Amazon as real estate, like depends where you're listing at. If your listing is in New York city in a good location, you make much more money. If you have your somewhere in the mountains, you might or have Indiana, same, God forbid, you might have the same apartment. But again, no value. So your listing is has to be on top of the search for your keywords and you have to be able to make sure you always stay there. So I was looking for a simple solution somewhere to see just a breakdown sales today, day before, day before, day before, day before, and some metrics. So like what my PPC every day, what was every possible thing I didn't start with all, but I start just with units. Did I keep up my units velocity every single day or I had some issues with it? So I couldn't find something. 
So I hired some developers and I asked them to do it. From there, I like add more and more metrics, which was really valuable. And that it really helped me to take off some loads of my brain, use my brain to grow, just peaking every day. Um, some people might ask, hey, what, what is the difference if I know, if I don't know? My answer is, I also didn't know at the time what I'm going to do. When you're looking at a listing, maybe it's something like, um, I forgot the name. You're thinking something, the other one is thinking. Like I, when I'm thinking for my listing, my listing is thinking for me how to sell. I just have to look on it and focus. I'll, I'll find what to do, but you have to look at it. If you don't look at it, then it's mm -mm -mm going down. So, so it's so it's all about visibility is what you're saying. And if we don't have visibility, then we can't measure it. If we can't measure, we can't manage. Is that what I'm hearing? This, this is what you say a little bit in action. But I'm saying even without action, just looking at your listing, it, it, it will work better than you're not looking at it, even if you don't take any action. Just when so, you know it, for some reason, it works better. So much like kind, of, kind of just bleeds into your brain, doesn't it? So... Um, why I like talking to people in, in your shoes is because not only did you experience this problem in your business, but you get to see all these other businesses that are going through the same issue. So my question for you is, um, you, your software is called Simple Tricks, but really it's having to do with keeping an eye on certain metrics in your business. So when, when it comes down to it, what do you think are these metrics that some sellers aren't paying attention to that they really should be to get a better result in their business? Okay. So every cell is a little bit different. So it's not one answer all. So mine was, my metric, first metric was just sales. Do I keep up my sales velocity? Now, if I keep up my sales velocity, then let's see, if not, is what's happening, my conversion rate is wrong, then I have to check if my images or someone advertising or I lose some keywords. So it all depends this, the, you know, what's going on. Now you gotta monitor your PPC. PPC is something you always have to monitor because it can go up and down. I know you can have some limits, but if it makes sense. And price point, I find a lot of people constantly asking me why I'm not making money. So I said, listen, uh, First, let's look, is your price set right? I know you, you set it right according to competition, but accordingly what you are paying, accordingly to your landed cost, there's no value here. Even if you're going to pick up and sell tons, there's no room here to grow. So there is a lot of factors for everybody. It's different. It's not one answer all. But one unique thing which we have is we actually estimating every single day your storage fee. And this is already calculated in your daily profit and profit per unit. So we actually showing um, something you don't get a month later to realize, hey, why, what happening? So, so this is one of the strong points. Now, this is the only, but it's just like a small thing. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to dump, jump into that uh, brilliant mind of yours that we, uh, you know, that you exposed to me outside of the podcast in Orlando. I want you to tell me, Moshe, I, you remember uh, my youngest son's name is Moses. So uh, just to <laughs> remind you of that, he was just over here trying to give me some food. But what is your top tip, like the seller tip or a hack? the sellers should be implementing in 2023? Um, I didn't sell for a while. That's the truth. So I don't have any conflict of interest. I stopped okay. selling in 2020. Um, but the challenge right now in 2023 is that along the way, we had a lot of um, ups, um, obstacles and ups um, and privileges. So like we had like, PPC came in in the picture, but if you learn PPC fast enough, so you're able to sell even more. Um, later, you got more flooded sellers, but later the the, the price and um, shipping increased, but then COVID sales kicked in. I believe now we're in a time everything is up and 
everything is we're left only with the challenges <laughs> and not so much of the you know advantages but there is always some advantages because when everybody struggles a lot of settles gets off and you might make better so number one is consistency um i do believe um consistency you got to break i believe amazon has tiers on sellers um, how much a seller should earn. I have not proven this multiple times. When you have, a, let's say, a good seller and that seller is all of a sudden blocked, sold out, your sales is not dropping exactly accordingly. You still have, you're making up some sales from other products at that time. Um, I've seen that, like, some people turn off the PPC and they don't see the same value from PPC is actually missing from the sales. It just takes some time. I believe Amazon has some tiers. And the way how I think it's that if I would be Amazon, I would do the same way. So I believe that should be true. Um, Amazon wants consistent sellers. They want everybody should be stable and be able to, to keep on growing. So yep. they have some status where they want to see people. So you Mo got Mo Mo Moshe. Meet, meet Moshe. Yeah. This is Moses. How are you? <laughs> This is Good. my friend Moshi. <laughs> hey, no school today? <laughs> he just got home. <laughs> okay, great. All right, go back. <laughs> so you got to make sure to overcome this and pushing harder to grow. And as more you grow, you got to be consistent and make sure to push limits. Okay. This is what you got to do. I know I know. Seth has got a, a lot to say about that. Seth, like we talk about these software companies, I mean, we like to know who their perfect client is, Seth, right? Yep, exactly. So Moshe, when you're talking about pushing limits and understanding your business and, and all of that, who is it that like Simple Tricks is, is best for? Simple Tricks is for any seller, but specific, any seller that has to know his data and he's, he's not so tiny enough so he can have all in his head. He wants to grow. Um, we have sellers with uh, over $10 million a month, and uh, we have uh, huge sellers. But the, the whoever is a private label seller who wants to know in depth what's going on with the listing, what they can do to enhance, to make, to make better decisions, should I increase my price, decrease for ranking, is my strategy of paying more PPC worth it? Like... Any decision you want to see, you want to know, and without digging into data with almost no click, or you want to come in and see where you're bleeding. There's many profit and loss tools, but you come in and you see where you're bleeding and when you're bleeding. So sometimes you might see something that's bleeding, but when you open it up, you see, oh, this PPC was last week or two weeks. So there's always um, if so in-depth that you can see Whoever loves data, who wants to know how their business is running and what they can do. Okay. The perfect clients. Make, makes a lot of sense, uh, Moshe. Thank you for sharing that. So uh, one more uh, serious question, and we have a couple of fun questions to ask you before we get out of here. So if you, if you look at everything you know, what you're seeing out there with Amazon sellers, you see the good, the bad, the ugly, and I know you're getting feedback from some of your clients. So, um, not really want to talk about a case study, but if there's just like one thought or idea that you'd like our listeners to take away with today, what would that be if you could sum it all up? Um, depends which type of sellers, but new sellers should know this is a business as any business and you got to put in your full effort and work. It, there's no shortcuts. There's no hacks. There is hacks, but hacks is not the way, um, successful people are working um you can start with a little and that will help you push but just keep on having a vision and doing right things adding products to your catalog um two products doesn't work the third might the fourth the fifth so definitely by mm -hmm. having measurable um uh growth and make sure keep on you will succeed. And the benefit with Amazon is that the sky is the limit. So if you succeed, then you're better off than investing in other businesses. 
Speaking not, of I'm success, not, Seth. I'm not saying investment. Investment it might be more. I'm talking about working. Okay. That makes sense. Amazing. So, Moshe, we have a fun segment at the end of every show, and we like to kind of uh, reach inside the brains of everybody because a lot of your experiences come from someplace else. So one of the questions we always like to ask is, um, well, Sean, I guess you want me, yes, you want me to jump I, I threw you off, didn't I? You, you did throw me off. So <laughs> normally, Moshe, we ask him in a specific order. Read Sean, the teleprompter. Sean's flipping the script <laughs> on me here. So what's something that you purchased maybe in the last year that you or others might consider a splurge, but you don't regret spending the money? Splurge means what? Splurge meaning something that uh, others may see as a wasteful purchase. Hmm. Um. The last year, I was only focusing on my business. I didn't buy anything extra. You didn't buy a new computer or a new printer or a phone no. system or a new fork truck. <laughs> no, I'm I'm like I'm doing metrics. I'm very like I'm very uh, on the penny, and I'm okay. focusing on growing my business. And I'm buying only what's. I love like, it. I, I didn't Fair spend enough. the last before. Yes, before I used to spend a lot. When I was selling on Amazon, I did. But in the last 12 months, no, only focusing on the business. Okay. Um, that don't make you a bad guy. I mean, a lot of us are just uh, happy working all day and not enjoying the fruits of our labor. So let me skip to this question, Moshe. Okay. What's your all-time favorite business book that you would recommend to the listeners of the Post-Purchase Podcast? Um, it's not a book. I was going through Bob Proctor's course, which I'm um, thinking into results. That means have bigger visions and even with no plans and you're going to attract this. Yes, that's right. This is what I love and I see it and um, things which I never believe it's possible for me. It's actually done. I like it. So the power of attraction, Seth, you know what to do here. Yeah. So Moshe, thank you so much for coming on and sharing about simple tricks. Is there anything that you want to leave the audience with today? One final thought um, or some place to go to find out more about what you have going on? As, as I mentioned before, keep up what you're doing. Um, focus on your products, not, not what else. Um, just make sure, focus on your, not, don't look on others. Look on others, what you can do better, but not to destroy them, what you can grow. Focus on your growth and you will succeed. I love it, Moshe. Build everyone else up. Don't tear them down, right? So right. this has been another episode of the Post Purchase Podcast. Thank you so much, Moshe, for hanging out with us today. We'll see everybody on the next episode. Thank you.